Sequence start. Uh, it looks like just after Falcon 9 entered startup mode, uh, it threw an abort. Uh, we're currently looking into a uh, little more details to see if we're able to continue uh, today's mission. If not, we'll be uh, using our backup day tomorrow at about the same time. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, it appears we had an abort thrown uh, by the vehicle just after it entered startup mode. Uh, these abort sequences are important to make sure that the Falcon 9 is in its best shape in time for any launch. Uh, so we're, we're much happier to, to take those aborts beforehand rather than uh, continue when there's any risk to the vehicle. Uh, if we have to go tomorrow, we'll be uh, checking to see exactly what uh, was happening that through the abort today. Um, the backup launch window opens tomorrow at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time, or 8.14 Universal Coordinated Time, and closes at 6.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or uh, Eastern Daylight Time, or 10.21 Universal Coordinated Time. Uh, hang on for a few more moments. Uh, we're waiting for official word from the countdown net, and we'll get back to you shortly. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, we had an abort just before our predicted launch time of 5.47 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, these are an important part of making sure that the vehicle is healthy for launch. At this time, we are currently uh, looking to discover the cause of the abort. Uh, 
Uh, we're still looking to discover the cause of the abort that Falcon 9 threw just after, or just inside T minus one minute. Uh, because so many systems respond in uh, abort, they, they change to a safe state. It takes us several minutes to understand uh, the generally single cause of that abort. The team is actively scrubbing the telemetry log uh, as we speak. CLD on countdown one. Vehicle is safe. Please stand by while reviewing data. Uh, you just heard the on the countdown net. We are still reviewing the data to see if we're able to uh, determine the cause of that abort. heard the launch director announce that the vehicle is safe and uh, gave the okay for payload to go back to external power. So we're still reviewing those telemetry logs. We're not yet scrubbed for the day. Uh, we're working to bring you that information as quickly as possible. If we're able to uh, launch today, um, or if we are not able to launch today, excuse me, then our backup window uh, is at about the same time tomorrow at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, closing at 6.21 p.m. Eastern Time.
we are still continuing to look at the data uh, to determine if we can understand the cause of uh, this afternoon's abort. Uh, aborts are part of the standard process. Again, uh, it's good to make sure that the uh, Falcon 9 is completely ready to go, uh, both the ground systems and the vehicle systems uh, as well. And uh, double checking those uh, is, is vastly preferable to having any sort of a problem during flight. Uh, there's still a chance that we may be able to launch today and we're working to see if that's going to be possible. Uh, otherwise, our, uh, we'll aim for a backup launch window uh, tomorrow afternoon. If you're just joining us, uh, we had an abort at the very final stages of countdown within one minute uh, for a, a launch time of uh, 5.47 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Falcon 9 through the abort and uh, they're a part of the standard process. Uh, we're still continuing to look at the data to conclude uh, even if it was a ground problem or a, a vehicle problem. Uh, because uh, at T minus one minutes, the flight computers go into startup mode. Uh, the process of understanding that abort is uh, a little more difficult than at other times in the countdown. So we're reviewing those telemetry logs to make sure that uh, we're understanding it. Um, there is still a chance that we can make it work uh, for today's uh, window, and we're currently exploring if that's a possibility.
And if you're just joining us, you can see that uh, it's a T minus 15 minute uh, clock at the moment um, in a, a yellow state, which means we're uh, in a hold state. Um, we threw an abort at just inside of T minus one minute as Falcon 9 had taken control of the countdown. Uh, those abor aborts are part of the standard process to make sure that everything is working just as we're expecting. Uh, much better to have those sorts of uh, signals on the ground rather than any time during ascent. 